Hey guys, this is Mark Noor, and I just wanted to talk about advocacy and activism in the other King community, or the lack of it in the other King community. Um, usually, I'm I'm kind of disappointed in the other King community, and most mostly the fairy and sub community in the other King community because of the one sidedness of of um activism and advocacy in it, you know. Usually, the only issues that I see going on in the other community is usually LGBTQ. And I love that there's, I love that other kin are using their voice to show their support for the LGBTQ community. However, I think that there's a lot, there's a lot to this world. There's a lot of, there's a lot of other issues in this world to support as well, alongside LGBTQ issues. And I'm disappointed in the Therian community mostly because, in my opinion, when you're other kin and you identify as this non, you have this non-human identity, you identify as something non-human spiritually or psychologically or symbolically. So I would think on some level that identity is you. And going by that reasoning, I would think that a Therian or, you know, somebody that has a certain kin type that's related to a region, religion, or belief would sympathize or empathize on some level with that with their stereotype with their real life animal species stereotype or their kin types from religion or region that it originated from that the creature originated from or the mythology for the creature originated from i would at least think that somebody would that they would have that type of empathy for it but in the theory community the only animals you know, like, the only animal, the only animal issues I ever see brought up is usually with wolves. And I can, I see that because basically wolves are a majority in the Therian sub-community. However, I know that the Therian community is a lot more diverse than just wolves. And I'm sad, I'm kind of saddened that a lot of Therians and other kin don't use their voice, their online voice that they have in these communities and these groups and, you know, online social media to voice or advocate to like to show activism or advocacy on important issues like with fox therians i don't see many fox therians voicing their concerns or their stance or their opinion on fox hunting that goes on in europe and in some parts of america and if you don't know what fox hunting is it's basically the tracking and chasing of foxes with foxhounds that is done recreationally for fun and usually it ends with the fox with a red fox usually being the red fox is usually a fox being hunted, being torn to pieces by the fox hounds. And this is all done for sport, basically. Um, I don't see any shark therians voicing their disgust or their opinions on the, on basically the harvesting of shark fins, of the harvesting of fins and other parts of sharks, and then just discarding the rest of the shark and just throwing the shark still alive into the water to sink to the bottom of the ocean to suffocate. I don't see a lot of Therians voicing issues on critically endangered animal species and conservation efforts or anti-poaching or, you know, things that would that would stop I mean things that would show that they are that they care about certain animals, you know? It's usually people use their online voice to just basically take a selfie and do 101 hashtags about what they are and what they identify as or what you know 101 irrelevant hashtags basically and there's and i think that when your other can you know when you feel non-human when you identify something non-human i think it, i think you should at least broaden your horizon i i, th I think that anybody that's other can should at least in some way empathize with something to, em to empathize with some cause or some type of some type of cause to really just be with you know and i feel like to have such an online voice and not use it is basically it's a waste and i also put other kin in this i also put like kin types in this or you know other types of other kin excluding therians i also put them into this lack of advocacy and activism because a lot of um people that have a certain kin type or have a certain kin type that kin type probably originates from a specific religion or a specific region of a country or some type of um belief 
and I think even though you may not follow the belief or you know you may not be from the region I think if something's bad happening in the region that happening happening in the region whether it's you know environmentally or you know spiritually wrong or something like that I would think that that somebody whose kin type or what their identity is if it's connected to or related to that region belief or religion that they would show some type of advocacy or activism for or against whatever's going on. But there's a lack of that. There's a lack of voicing stuff, in my opinion. And, you know, just so you guys don't, just so anybody that doesn't do that, doesn't feel discouraged, I mean, I guess I can be a prime example, you know? I want to do things. I want to actively go out in the field and, you know, plant trees and do all this other stuff that is good. I want to I want to help and take a hands-on role in these good environmental causes and animal conservation efforts and you know basically everything. But I know some people are in positions where they can't do that. Some people are at certain points in life where they can't do that. They don't have the time and they don't have the opportunity to. So I'm just saying in this video, it would be great if some people would just utilize the one thing that they do have you have a voice you have a voice whether it's online like you have a voice online it doesn't matter if you're on any type of social media you have a voice and i have a voice and for me i try to use my voice to talk about other can related issues and you know in my videos it might pop up sometime or something like that but i usually have some type of charity or some type of donation towards a cause in my youtube videos so you might see it pop up in the upper corner or something like that. But it's usually some type of environmental cause, some tribal cause or cultural cause or something. And I feel like it, it's good. It's good. And I think a lot of people, not, you don't even have to be other kind, a lot of people should try to support a cause that helps people, that helps other people, that helps the world, that generally makes the world a better place. Whether it's for human beings or animals or just nature itself that just helps this is makanor like comment share subscribe i'm out